Wow, this is quite an emotional uh, video today because just the uh, level of deception and uh, just the way that we are taking actually turns to hurt on our fellow brothers and sisters is very, very hurting, you know, because the video I'm about to play for you, it's actually going to be in uh, three parts. It's just one video, but it's going to be in three parts. The first part, you're going to be looking at a sudden miracle by Catherine Creek of actually a very young child that came in the program. She was uh, lame and everything. And yeah, according to Catherine Creek, you'll see it from the thumbnail. She's saying that uh, the, the girl walked, but you'll be shocked on what you're going to be seeing. The second part is going to be an expose of another miracle as well. Just crazy things that are happening. And then the third part is actually there's a man who was uh who has just gotten engaged to a robot a robot that is a female you know there's an uh there's a video i did the other day on the live broadcast that was on saturday and we were talking about the end times and uh, we got to a section right there we were talking about technology how our technology is going to be a tool that the devil is going to use a lot uh, at this especially this end time, these times like now. So what you're about to see on this video is quite shocking. I'm telling you, it's very, very shocking. Everything you're going to be seeing on this one is very shocking. But I'll uh, I'll request that you watch the video until the end as usual, because every part of the video is definitely connected. But I just want to show you, this is also just uh, in extension to the end time prophecies that were shared the falsehood, the false miracles, and all these things. So, yeah, so, without further ado, let's get, let's get in the video. Let's get in the video. So, this right here is the uh, thumbnail. This is the thumbnail that uh, Catherine Creek had actually placed on this video. Uh, this, this is the thumbnail that they use. This is the poster. So, you can see the poster says, little girl delivered and gets out of the wheelchair so delivered delivered from what that's the first thing second thing uh, is that the little girl is actually uh she has gotten out of the wheelchair so let us watch uh this miracle cause earlier when you were uh, when you were casting away Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, so you're going to allow me to make some intercuts here and there because it's quite important. So the first thing is that this young girl was a part of the program just in context, just for you to be able to understand what's happening here. So she was part of the program and then she was uh, watching how people are receiving miracles. So it's like every time or most of the people who used to come to receive the miracles, the thing was that an evil spirit was actually cast from them. You can hear how she's saying that at that time when she was uh, actually, Catherine Creek was ministering to the others, she was feeling like there's something that is coming out of her. So already she had that mind and that's how brainwashing actually works. There's a certain way that you are programmed into, you know, there's a certain way you're programmed. So this little girl here, she's actually crippled. She, she's not able to walk. Okay, so Catherine Creek right there is saying that she's breaking a generational curse. So that suggests that the reason that uh, this young girl, she's actually crippled is because of a generational curse. So there is a scripture here that I like us uh, to read real quick before we get going on this video, because it lays a lot of foundation, a lot of things. So the Bible says the secret thing belong unto the Lord, our God, but those things which are revealed belong 
unto us and unto our children forever that we may do all the words uh, of this law so we have just to accept that is not everything that is revealed to us that is just something that we have to accept not everything is revealed to us the bible clearly says that some things are not revealed to man so for, for example if someone for example is crippled if someone is paralyzed and it doesn't mean that it's a curse it doesn't mean necessarily mean that it's a demon behind it okay but since now according to apostle creek she said that the reason why this young girl is in this condition is because of a generational curse so definitely in the name of jesus we're able to break that curse so is she going to break that curse I break every curse every sacrifice that was made upon her life that she would have sickness i detach her from every spirit of infirmity every spirit that's keeping her from walking well and on three every spirit every spirit of infirmity must leave her in jesus name one two Three. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The young lady, the young girl was ready to walk. I'm telling you, she wanted just to go and go and go. So you can see Catherine Creek right there. Uh, extending her hand and then we have another person right there i'm not sure who that is but she's also uh actually supporting that young girl that young girl was ready to walk She said that you will walk well in Jesus' name. Jesus, he's free you today. And he's healed you today. And you are going to walk well. Thank you, Jesus. This is just a beginning. Thank you, Jesus. You are going to walk well in Jesus' name. And not need braces or anything or any chair. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank She's saying that this is just the beginning. So first of all, if you can see the kind of uh, machine, let me just call it a machine that uh, the young girl has, that you can see it has wheels. Definitely, I know she's, uh, as much as she's crippled, I think that there's a way that maybe she pushes herself on this uh, machine right here and maybe it assists her. It always assists her in her movement and all that so the thing is that young girl is tired of that situation she wants to get up she wants to walk she wants to run and catherine creek uh she said that the issue because of this is because of a generational curse and she broke that curse we had her break it and actually she did that she broke that curse but then again now this young girl is not yet walking again. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Wow, what an attitude. I always loved your videos and <laughs> wow she has always hoped that there's nothing inside of her because she has always been uh, watching catherine creek you see there are so many people that uh these preachers make an impact on just imagine this young girl like she's been feeding a lot of catherine creek's preachings and everything and she knew that this was actually the moment and she believed everything so she came here she knew that this is my day that she's going to walk maybe she's seen others get out of their wheelchairs so she knew that this was the day jesus 
set you free today, honey. You're gonna feel better and better and better and better. Can see even she's unable to stand. Jesus has killed you today. Thank you. You see that lady's carrying her back to the wheelchair. And that is the thumbnail or the poster that they put on her on the video saying that that girl got delivered. You know, sometimes these are the people that really make Christianity look like it's a joke. Christianity is not a joke. They look, make it look like this is crazy. This is so crazy. Todd White is known for lengthening people's legs. He goes out on the streets and he takes his cameraman with him and he goes up to people at random. And apparently the real pandemic out there, forget about COVID. Apparently the real pandemic is that almost everybody out there is walking around with one leg that's just about that much shorter than the other one. And so he has them sit down on a chair or on a bench or something and he'll get down in front of them, kneel down, and he'll put one foot in each hand. He'll have the person's legs straight out, one foot in each hand, and he compares the legs. And sure enough, one leg is just about that much shorter than the other one, and he commands the leg to grow. And yeah, so let me just give you a brief of this just for you to be able to understand what's going on here. So the person you can see on the screen, that is, uh, he's called as uh, Justin Peters. So Justin Peters on this one is exposing uh, a preacher that is named as Todd White. So Todd White, uh, according to him, is also another preacher that does miracles. So in this video, uh, he's going to analyze a miracle that he did. So in that miracle is where now actually if he is meeting people who have one shorter leg so the miracle that he's doing is just that uh, he's praying it's going to be live on camera you're going to be seeing it and then you'll see that the other leg actually just stretches to be the same length with the shorter one and he's doing that live on camera but now the shocking thing is that we're going to be seeing how he is doing it. Is he doing it in the name of Jesus? We're going to be seeing that right now. So reason why people do these crazy miracles, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why they do it. I'll tell you. I'll let you know. And you can see the leg grow right there on television. It's just, it's amazing. Watch, watch this. You're one leg shorter than the other one. That throws you back up. Okay, so regardless of, like, well, yeah, no matter what. So what I'll do, regardless of what you believe, I'm going to pray for you and Jesus is going to grow your leg out and heal your back. You don't even have to believe, dude. So you get into the, the weirdest place of belief that you want. You can unbelieve as much as you want and God's going to grow your leg out and heal your back. I promise, man, you grow right now. Okay, I want to pause it. Did you notice how, she, how he said, you can get in the weirdest place of unbelief that you want? He said, it doesn't matter what you believe. Do you know why he can say that with such confidence? because he knows full well that what he's about to do is a trick okay but watch let's watch the magic happen jesus name look at it see it whoa look at that do you guys see that right there yes it's longer now than the other one <laughs> that's nuts so father i thank you for a brand new back off i thank you that it's not about religion it's about jesus did you hear the guy in the background? He said, look, now it's longer than the other one. So I guess God just overshot it a little bit. So now, now the long leg that, that was the short leg, it's now the long leg. So now he's going to have to command the other leg to grow, which was the long one. Now the short one, he's going to, you know, if God keeps overshooting this thing, this guy's going to be 12 feet long, tall before... But let's be fair to Todd White, shall we? Let's, I want to show you this is, this is before and this is after. So you can see the foot on our right, the man's left, is, was the short leg. But now, look, they're the same length. So apparently the leg did grow. Wow. How'd he do that? This is how he did it. Now we're going to see Todd White's clip sped up quite a bit and looped back and forth. 
Now this is where we can see what's really going on here. The leg on our right is supposed to be the short leg, and this is the leg which should be miraculously growing, but it's not. Look at the leg on our left. That's where all the action is. That's what's actually being manipulated. You can see that Todd is actually pivoting or shifting the foot of the so-called long leg so that the heels match. Now, he's doing this very slowly over time, but it's painfully obvious when you speed up the clip. This is a trick. It's a parlor trick. Charlatans have been doing this for decades, for many decades. It's just that Todd White has made it popular with the advent of YouTube. It's a parlor trick. If Todd White can really command a leg to grow, then surely he could command cancer cells to die. So you know the first place that Todd White ought to be going? Not out on the streets, lengthening people's legs. The first place he ought to be going is to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. That's where he ought to be going. Yeah, so I've... <laughs> yo, yo, you know, I'm even just out of words. I don't know what to say about it, but the level of deception is quite alarming. You know, and you see, uh, the main reason why people uh, actually do these things, one of the major main reasons is because, you know, when you perform these crazy miracles and then people are astonished by them, you know, it's just a matter of you making profit in, in within a very short time. You'll be able to make profit because people are going through a lot of very desperate situations and they know that they know that clearly they know that people are going through very desperate situations. So they are just taking advantage of actually those seats of those scenarios because probably someone has gone to whatever doctors people have traveled the world just to seek solutions and they didn't get solution and then you turn up and you say you know what i have a solution for you so no matter the cost the person is willing to go at extent no matter the cost so just look at this guy here is quite crazy let me just give you this one this one is quite crazy i'm telling you check out this guy so this guy just uh, decided to go and actually to propose to a robot. This guy is called Brain Jota. It's known as Brain Jota. So he decided to go and uh, propose on a, uh, to a robot and then everyone is excited about it. So you can see that that's now a couple, it's like a union. And guys are celebrating just the same way they celebrate engagements. Now guys are celebrating this. So this is, first of all, uh, whether this is just an art play or whether it was just uh, they're trying to do this for social media or whatever they're trying to push, it doesn't matter. It just shows you the world that actually we are in and the world that we are getting in the people who have robot doctors right uh, they have robot dogs in their houses the people who have these robots that they're sleeping with like the other one that was there the other day uh, you buy it this, this one that looks like a money queen and everything and people are having actually sleeping with these things so it's not that these things is a joke it's just they're just trying to show whether they're trying to market or whatever they're trying to do it just shows you that definitely these are the end times i'm telling you for sure like for sure look how excited they are the technological inventions he says will keep showing up so we are going into a time where more and more we will simply be reading these little blurbs we've already seen that they've invented the robot dog we've already seen that they've tried to sensitize people to living with automated things how many people have alexa in the house how many people have the little roomba going around do you know if that thing has a camera on it or not it's funny now on TikTok, your cat is riding on it and you're filming it but do you know if it has a camera do you know if it has a GPS that it emits? Hi, I'm here at 1515 Firefly Lane. You don't know, but you just open your house and bring everything in. The way the Greeks opened the gates and brought the Trojan horse in and brought death and destruction and conquest to themselves because they had no wisdom. Later, they will want the speculative false promises 
of the fallen ones who will show a promising a higher life for humans. People would prefer anything to God, and this will become very apparent in the time of the great falling away. So God is telling you, and I am telling you, out of the goodness of his own heart, that the world shall grow bored with him. And maybe this is why sometimes it's getting harder and harder to translate faith and love for God to the younger generation, because God just doesn't match their video games. God doesn't match the free sex that they're into. America is not watching as your children, the youth have gone right back to the permissive sexual immorality of your youth in the sixties. More lovers is better. That's exactly what these children are doing now. Ecclesiastes chapter three, there is nothing new under the sun. What has been done shall be again. People will prefer anything to God. It will be hard for a man to keep his faith. Wow. Yeah, so that is just some prophecies of the end times. This is a continuation of the live video that uh, I did that I was just highlighting on what the scripture speaks about the end times and what is happening in our world currently. If you have not watched that video, I'll kindly request that you go and watch it. It is the latest live video that we did, the last one. Just go and watch it. Uh, it we actually aired that to streamed. We streamed it live on Saturday. So if you missed that, I kind of request that you go and just have a look at it because it's a summary of so many different things. And this one is just also a continuation of the same, just to show you the recap, just to show you the world that actually we are in with the fake miracles and also just men being lovers of everything else, but not God things. You know, we are trying to now recreate even humans. We're trying to create life. We're just trying to create different things right now you know bible speaks about the blessing he that finds a wife finds a good thing and receive favor from god right now now people want to marry robots you know you know just people just actually it's just a way of turning away from scriptures just men being lovers of of different things rather than uh, being lovers of god or the word of god or for their set uh foundation that god has given to us so it's quite crazy it's a very it's very saddening it's a very saddening thing actually but but i'd like to hear what you what do you think about this video let me know in the comment section what do you think about uh this uh, video uh, if you have not yet subscribed probably it's your first time coming across the platform or for whatever reason you've never actually taken the time to subscribe please consider hitting on that subscribe button. Stay blessed and see you on the next episode.